All right, hello everybody, Stefan again. So I'm gonna to show today how to um, install a fifth line on like a regular four line bridled kite setup. So I have to switch crypto, I have it all set up here already, right? Uh, that kite is, can be flown, configured in a four line and a five line setup. Um, so having the bridles installed it's a four line setup, uh, but I actually have my bars, the two bars that I use, configured on a five line uh, setup. So there's a fifth line installed. The fifth line is the safety line. So what I wanna do is, same as I did with my switch Helium already, I wanna install a fake fifth line that is actually not in use when flying the, the kite, that it's gonna be like slightly slack, but eventually when you flag the kite, uh, right, when you basically pull the safety, the fifth line is gonna be the safety line. So it's not gonna have any influence on the flying of the kite, since you want it a little slack, not too slack, but a little, just so it doesn't actually mess with the flying abilities of the kite. Um, but eventually, you know, just comes down to fifth line flagging, which some say is more uh, efficient. Um, for me, really, the, the, the real purpose is only, I don't wanna have too many bars, right? I have one bar that is a little wider and another bar that is shorter that I use for the smaller kites. So they're all converted on five lines. So I have kind of, you know, um, put my stuff together, configured my stuff for all five line setups. So the legacy kites, they need the fifth, the fifth line anyways. They're like pure C kites. Uh, the helium I converted was basically a nose line, uh, fifth line, safety line. Uh, and I'm going to do the same here with the crypto. The crypto I mainly bo uh, bought for doing more kite loops, more tricks with kite loops, since we have choppy waters out here um, in front of Toronto. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fly that crypto actually on the bridle setup. It says that uh, with the bridles, it's potentially going to turn a little faster. I don't know, this is the recommendation at least from, you know, Switch and Mark Jacobs, the team writer and so forth. The link to the video, uh, I'll find it here in the description. So I wanna try with the bridle, to fly it with the bridle setup, with the regular four line setup, but the fifth line really only to, you know, accommodate to that fifth line that I have on the bar already. Uh, but, you know, you ultimately gotta connect it somewhere on the kite. So I'm gonna show how to create that like nose line in the center of the kite that is therefore ultimately connecting that fifth line uh, that's gonna be the flag line for this kite. All right, so here again, here's the kite set up uh, and I'll show you more in a moment. Next step, uh, let's go over here to the kite. So what you can see is I pumped it all up and I put it all the way uh, onto the leading edge, right? So it's sitting there on the leading edge. And what I'm doing now is I'm gonna show you here I'm gonna actually go to the bridles uh, and I wanna stretch those bridles all out, right? So as if the kite was actually flown and if there was a, as if there was tension from, from the kite lines from the bar. So stretch these all out. You can see it's all under tension. Uh, here too, yeah, so all over. Everything should be under tension. So, and then I slightly to the inside as if the bar push, uh, pulled on it. And then I leave it here. I mean, it's gonna give in a little bit, but it's gonna stay in place. As you can see here, it's mostly still straight out there. So that's a good indication of where it should be. So I'll do the same on the other side. See it here again. Take that one as well. And I stretch it out. Don't pull too hard, don't move with the kite too much. So again, all the lines are under tension, all the bridle here. And then I lay it down here again. Uh. Okay, sorry for that. And now again, everything is fairly straight, so this should be a good position. Now, next step is uh, so think about like, also these here, those are the connection points, right? So the connection point here, 
versus the connection points there. So this is all should all be like more or less at the same level. So now I go over here, I have prepared already a nose line as it comes with the switch fifth line conversion kit. So I have one here that I'm gonna use, but the other one, I have it here on the chill is, is actually, I move this here closer, just here where this one starts, right? So I have it fixed somewhere, a little nicer here maybe, all the way nicely where the connector is. And all the way in line here with this one, right? So this is pretty much the same line here because you'll have the front line connectors to the bar and you want the front line, center line, the nose line, you wanna have it somewhat the same, the same length, right? So you basically measure the length here. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'll fix this, like I use this little utensil here. All right, I hook it up here. Just lay it there. And now I have a nice baseline. This is basically the length of my fifth line. So now what I'm gonna do now is take this fifth line, this nose line, that I had, and I will fix it here in the center. So what's adequate often would be actually to do it here on that center sling. In this case though, this is not like where all the other lines connect, right? So be careful to choose the right piece here. This is where the stronger connection is. This is only for the pump here. This is where the stronger connection seems to be in this case where all the other lines line up. So now I'm gonna connect this one here, right? Okay, so I have a uh, thread that one through, and now I pull that one through. And again, this is the nose line that comes with the fifth line conversion kit from the switch, you know, yeah, fifth line conversion kit. So um, you can use like any other line, but it should be like roughly the same length, so you just like manufacture one uh, out of any other spare lines that you have. So I now, Move that one through. Okay. It's a little hard with one hand here. In any case, I have a solid connection. And that is gonna be my fifth line connector here. In the center, the other lines are still like nicely lined up. So now I pull this out. And, simple enough, I try to find roughly the center here, right? What I think is the center, it doesn't matter so much because ultimately this line is not gonna be used for flying, but you wanna have a somewhat right length, right? So, it's a little hard to show. I stretch this one out, and what I wanna do is now, here where I connect, I wanna mark I wanna mark my fifth line, just to know what the, the ideal length of that one will be. Okay. So now we basically have the final product of the center line. I've tied the knots in where I had the markings and I actually used only every second marking because the, the knot itself takes uh, up quite a bit of the line. So when you do this figure eight knot, so I hope you can do that one. Um, it will, you know, anyway, shorten the lines. So it took every second marking and made like a whole bunch of knots um, that are uh, potential connector points. In the very end, I have also the loop of the line here. So I could potentially even connect it here, but my suspicion is that like that full length until here is gonna be a little too long eventually. Um, so I don't wanna have the line too crazy slack so that it would wrap around any kind of center lines while flying it. So I wanna find the right length. And when I first, you know, try it out, as I said, um, I will maybe start at this knot here. If it's still too slack, I will then connect it here just to find the right length. 
uh, when I steer it hard, as I said before already, I don't want to get this line like full on the tension so it doesn't pull the nose of the kite down really like the, the center of the leading edge. But then ultimately I'll have it. So all my bridles, uh, my lines, at the, my front lines are going to be under tension. My steering lines are going to be under tension, uh, under tension. And this one is just going to be one that, you know, it's basically there for having a connector point for the fifth line. Plus, ultimately, it is the safety line uh, if I ever had uh, to pull, you know, the safety. It's going to flag the kite here in the center. All right. Okay, so that was it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, maybe hit the subscribe button for the channel and see you at the next uh, episode. Bye.